Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video here, we successfully get all that our blog data from our database. Right now, that is all the data I successfully get it from to the database and also I put some of the limitation, only three data will be visible. Okay, great. Now I want to do I want to create our details page. So if you want to add the details like here, I want to create another route and also I want to create the route in here. Now if you go to our post, there is our home blog into this home blog. You can see there is a read more button and also there is an item title into this title area. There is also another link, right? First of all, I want to do I want to add that link um, on the route in here. So that will be very easy process. I in uh, portfolio I have already discussed about that things with you. Now I want to create another new route. Sorry, our uh, route. Okay, our UT route. So that is a route, and I just name it one of the new route, and I just name it as a blog. Okay, blog and details. And also we have to do we have to pass one of the ID because that is a specific one of the ID we have to pass, right? I have already into the for each loop. Now I get all that our blog data with this item. Now I want to do and to use that our item and with this item I want to access our block table block table ID. Right? That is our requested ID. Now I want to do and to pass it our ID. Great. Now we have to create it. We have to create our blog details. Now go to our web route into this web route that will be just like that same get method. I copy it and I paste it. Okay, so now our name, our name I name it as a blog details. So that will be the blog details. I make it as a blog details and then I put that our URL as a blog and then details. Okay, blog details with a specific one of the ID because here I have already passed one of the requested ID. Right, so now it's totally fine. I want to create another new method as a blog details. Okay, I make it as a blog and then details. So that is a blog details. Now I want to create our blog details method. I want to create this method in our blog controller. Simply now go to our blog controller into this blog controller after a delete. I want to do and to create new one. So that will be as a public and then function and our method will be as a blog details. I simply created this method. Okay, and then that will be our and method which is totally fine and also that have one of the requested ID also we have to do have to get that requested ID I simply get that our requested ID so that will be actually just like our edit okay here we have to update it here we have to get this specific requested ID data so I take one of the variable I take one of the variable as a blogs okay I name it as blogs what are the name actually you choose now our I want to access it our block table so with this block model I want to access it um, if you want to get that or find a specific one data then that will be a find or fail find or fail our requested ID so that will be our requested ID now I want to do I want to create another return view page so that will be the return on the view page and that will be in our font int, right so into the font int, I have already created another folder as a font int. into this font in folder I want to create now a new page and that will be as a blog okay I name it as a blog details blog details this type of the page I want to create and then I want to compact this data I want to compact our specific ID data which I have already taken it in our blogs now I want to do I want to pass it into the compact I hope friend it's very much clear to you so now we have to create our block details uh, in our font in folder if you go to our view into the view right now that is our font in you can see that is our font so into the main font in folder you can also create new fo folder right now it's totally fine I want to create on the new file now click as a save as and I just name it as a block details dot blade dot php so this page will be if you go to our about page first of all I want to do and to take our master I um, simply carty copy it and here I paste it and also we have to end it so that will be our end section okay that will be the end section or which part will be needed or I want to, to take on the main part right so now let's find out our template in our template you can see there is a blog details dot html so here that should be the images will be displayed date will be display comment I don't want to use that comment our title will be display here they have some of the description right and also related um, blog if you want to display you can display it category should be loaded and when you click is a category category related post will be loaded okay first of all I want to do, um, get our blog details dot html if you go to our font in theme in our project theme go to the font in theme and then there is a blog details simply I open with the sublink text editor I only need that our main part 
right because header i have already taken it in our master now our main part will be needed so better i minimize it i simply copy that main part and now we don't need this here i paste it perfect so they have so many static data and we have to now update one by one now there is a single article now i want to display our title in here okay so first of all i want to make take take our total part there is our total section right into this total section area first of all that is the standard one of the images like first of all to check it they have some of the images so this image will be i uh, have already take it i have already get our specific requested everything with the blocks i pass it in our blog details page now into the blog details page i want to, do, to display it our image okay how to do and to display it. that will be the asset asset and into this asset area first of all with our um, variable as a blocks with this variable i want to access our field name our field name is a blog if you go our block table field name if you better go to the structure that is will be as a block image right i want to display our block image so that will be a block image should be display and then that is the time so for the time i have already discussed about that things with you if you go to our home blog i want to use that our carbon i copy it and now in our blog detail space here i want to do and to display it okay i want to display it mm, better i want to make it a little bit left side okay i want to make it little left side okay total things i want to make it a little bit left side I, with pressing that shift tab i want to make it in the left great now one by one i want to update now there is a carbon carbon display and there is an item now we have to do we have to access or created that with our which variable that i have passed it by the blog right now that should be with this blog i want to access or created at great great and comment section we don't need this comment section i remove it and then that is our post now i first of all check it click as a save all okay click as a save all and title i want to also update like if you want to display the title or title will be dynamic right now so if you want to access it now with this blog we have to access right with this blog i want to do want to access our field name or title field as a block title i copy it now that should be as a block title and that is our description field i want to take total description i remove it that is all the static text okay now that should be our description i copy it and here i paste it so now that is our description when we use that as a description as i told you we have to use that as exclamator rather than it will be get all that our html code right sorry now i want to don't to get that one so now with these blogs i want to display our blog description i copy it now that will be our blog description great okay now let's check this out first of all i want to click as a save all now if you go particular page now i want to refresh it and now like there is a react is uh, new mm, here i have actually updated the title in a read more so now if you go to the read more and there is a view js details i also want to make it as a read more now let's check this out now that should be updated two of these different pages, right now yes you can see it's now successfully update the images mm, you can see there is a 20 minute ago our title is updated our description is also successfully updated right it's successfully done and also if you go to this post yes images updated so that is actually a different type of resize image right now it's totally fine image is visible one hour ago and then our title and description is visible great a specific three requested id data we get right which is totally fine i want to do and to display our title in here okay so if you want to now display it so now that should be very easy to you i want to better copy the title i want to update our title that will be also dynamic like this one i want to make it as a dynamic okay now that should be updated mm, if you now click as a save all now that should be loaded different title click as a refresh yeah you can see it's now successfully updated for the view.js and that will be our another one now to refresh it now that should be updated yeah you can see it's now updated great our title is dynamic our picture is dynamic a specific five id related all data is visible so now i want to do 
and that is a recent blog okay all that our blog i want to visibility in here and also we don't need this i want to better want to do and remove it and uh, that is in which place mm, that is our fall and then uh, that is our blog you can see there is another li i remove this li great so as i told you friend i want to do i want to get all the tower recent block so if you want to get that recent block and also if you want to put some of the limit as a one two three four five five post i want to visible it so if you have to do this work in you know, from our controller we have to pass this data so that will be the same better i want to do and take another variable okay take another variable as all blog okay i make it as a dollar all blog blocks okay so now that will be our one of the variable from our blog from our block model i want to get that latest data okay latest so that is the latest data i want to get and before getting that latest data if you want to put that limit i have already discussed about that things with you that will be as a limit okay limit i want to do and to display only five data that will be get okay i simply get it perfect now i pass it in what variable and now i want to pass that variable in our um, block detail space and then here after that i want to do to pass another one as a all blocks now with this all blocks we can actually display it because uh, with our block we get that a specific id data now i get all blocks okay so now I all blocks i want to display in our block details into the block details here that is a recent block right now first of all I want to find out a recent blog there is a previous post the comment right now we don't need this actually and write a comment and you can see there is a recent blog perfect so for the recent blog I we need only one um, rest of this I want to remove on all your common part common part is the RC post right RC ports contain and the item so there is the item is the common you can see the item is the common so i only want to do and to take one item there is one item there is another li so rest of this i want to do and to remove there is the five i want to do and to remove it great so now here we have to add that for each i hope you already know that part so now i simply added one of the for each that is a for each right for each and also i want to do and to end it that that will be the end for each okay and now into this for each area i want to do i have already get all the data i have get that all data by the all blocks now that will be as a all blocks i make it as a all blocks as all okay i make another variable as a all now with this all we can display all the things we can display the images now i want to remove it now that if you want to display that image that will be the same process as an asset and then with our dollar with our dollar all right that is a dollar all i want to do and to visible our field name our field name image or image field name blog that is a blog image now i do not display the blog image which is totally fine i want to display the title so that will be the same i want to display with the blood blood syntax i want to display as a title right so right now also we don't need this also we don't need this so that will be our title our title field name as a block title i copy it now that will be as a block title and the date date will be same here i want to use that carbon that i have already done that i copy it now that will be from in our home i have already discussed about that things with you now i want to don't to use it in here right that is a carbon only our variable right now we are accessing it, everything with the all with this all i want to access our block table created at with the drift for human that will be updated great now if you click as a save all now if you go i want to check it now that should be updated right now they have the four post that means four will be display yeah you can see it's now successfully display the four here i put one of the limitation as a five post after that five that will be not display okay our image is updated title is updated and also time is updated great and now i want to do i want to display the category so if you want to display the category better i show you that will be the same process i hope you already know uh, before i have already get that categories data actually categories data i have already get it you can see there is a categories from to the block category right same things i copy it now also I want to pass that categories data in our blog detail space i simply paste it the categories from our blog category i have already discussed about that things with you order by as a block category ascending order get this data 
now i'm pass it in our block data space now i want to also pass that variable now there is a different variable as a categories now with this categories i want to visible it if you go to again our block details into the block details you can see that is all that category so right now only one will be needed because i want to make it as a dynamic i simply remove it there is only one template you can see there is only one template uh like this one okay perfect so now there is a here we have to again add that our for each loop so that is our for each i simply loaded that for each and there is a li and it and after that that will be as and for each okay for each great that will be the end for each and now i want to do i want to display the name so here if you want to display this name what exactly you have to do the same process uh, from here i pass that name as a categories i simply take it into the for each loop that will be the dollar categories i as i name it as a cat okay now with this cat i want to visible our name now with this cat i want to visible our category field name our category field name if you go Mm, here there is a blog underscore category right so then that will be the blog underscore category perfect perfect because i have already get this data from which table i get that our blog category table right into the blog category or field name as a blog underscore category now that should be display or category name now let's check this out click as a save all and if you now go if you go now refresh it now that should be updated right now that should be updated our all that um, appropriate category that i have created if you go yes you can see there is a facebook laravel one react and then the view chairs perfect perfect and also there is tags i didn't <laughs> display the tags tags is in our blog detail space mm, they have also some of the tags right i didn't cover it so i hope you already know what exactly the things you have to do like that is actually our tag so if you have to display these tags i have already get a specific id all the data with these blocks now we have with these blocks we have to display it right now i better remove it i only want to take one then that will be with our blocks right with these blocks i want to access our field name our tax field name if you go to our block table our tax field name as a block tax right so now that should be display our block tax great now if you click as a save all now go there i want to refresh it so for this post i have also inserted some of the tags now that should be display yeah you can see that the tags is display as a react great great okay so in our next video i want to discuss about the category when you click as a category a specific facebook related category if there have any post it will be get this post and it will be visible in our another layout so how can do this work? I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.